Welcome Libras. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the Empress and I'm happy to be here with you guys on today. So I'm going to start off with air signs first for the messages for uh, January 2020 because I did not do you guys this reading for December. I do apologize for that. I was extremely busy um, doing private readings and I had personal things I had to deal with. Um, with that being said, you guys, this videos will be first, okay? So, let's see what we have for Libras coming into, ooh, coming into 2020. Libra, Libra, give me one more card for Libras, please. Give me one more card for Libras. Libras, sun, moon, and rising. We got celebration. Look, we got material harvest. We got transformation, base chakra. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys are possibly really zoomed in and focused in on your material harvest. You're focused in on your finances, your success, okay? Some of you guys may be deciding to be single, okay? Maybe some of you guys have decided to cut someone off or there is an ending, okay? Um, a transformation may be happening, currently at the moment all right so you could be celebrating this okay i feel like you guys may possibly have been going through some obstacles okay this is um obstacles and challenges there could be some financial issues okay there could be um some type of issues in regards to something that's challenging to you okay so you may feel like you know you're in limbo all right, you're waiting for your moment, okay, to celebrate. You're waiting for your moment to shine. You could be waiting to get together, reunite with someone, um, but definitely coming together, okay? Definitely coming together and rejoicing and celebration, all right? So most definitely, look, these people are celebrating. They got their wine glasses up. You could be drinking a little bit. You could be, you know, out celebrating a little bit, all right? So you're trying to overcome some obstacles, some challenges. You're possibly most definitely trying to be independent and do things on your own or be your own individual okay so let's from now until January 2020 please give me messages for Libras mm. Mm. Libra, 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 give me past energy. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Here we go again with the transformation card. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands and the four of pentacles. So you guys could be resisting an urge, okay? You guys could be challenging yourself. I feel like you guys are challenging yourself, really more so. Um, the first energy that we have here is the King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But this is most definitely a go-getter type energy. Okay, I've got the challenge being the Emperor. Okay, so Aries is energy. Some of you guys could most definitely be dealing with a fire sign. All right. I feel like you possibly want to take some type of action. The challenge is having control, okay? But there is some type of conflict here. I do see that there is some type of conflict that you possibly are trying to come out of, okay? There's communication here in the past with this page of wands. And then I see things going more so in your favor in the near future, okay, with this wheel of fortune. Let's see why this king of wands is here. Why is king of wands here for Libras, okay? Ten of pentacles, okay? You're focused in on your finances and your career, okay? This could involve family. You could be dealing with family, but you could be thinking about a marriage as well. This is the marriage card as well. Um, but you could be trying to think long term, 
All right, thinking long term, we got you guys' energy, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this energy. But I feel like you want something new. You want some type of new start because I feel like you could be looking back at a situation with regrets here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are focusing on your money, okay? We got the Emperor and the Seven of Wands wanted to jump back out, okay? So someone here is possibly, I feel like you guys are kind of like, Trying to have self-control is what I'm getting here. Why is the five of wands here? Maybe there's an argument or disagreement in regards to money or finances. Why is the five of wands here? Competition. Okay, I'm picking that up as well too. Competition. Five of wands. Three of wands, okay. So you could be waiting, okay, all right. We got the lover's card here, Gemini's energy. Ooh, and a ten of swords. So there could have been an ending. There could have been some type of ending. You decided to end something indefinitely. All right, so page of wands is past energy. What is this conversation about? What is this talks about? Knight of pentacles, Capricorn's energy. But you could be saying that things are just moving slow. Okay, I do sense that there could have been some type of breakup, okay? There could have been some type of breakup or there is some sadness or sorrow in the past that could be about a financial situation, okay? Could have been about a financial situation. Why is the death card here? This is about endings. Oh. For some of you guys, this is a marriage, okay? Some of you guys are possibly contemplating on a divorce or ending something. Some of you guys are dealing with the court system, okay? We got justice, which is you guys' card, and then we have the Ten of Cups paired up here with this death card. So there could have been an ending. You can't, it's like you're maybe not happy about a situation, possibly a financial situation. You may feel like you want to take more control, Um and that's what I'm picking up here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in the future energy? Future energy, future energy, future energy, future, future energy, future, future. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. This is being financially abundant, okay? This is about being financially secure, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are looking at your options, and I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be deciding to be single or be independent and get something done, okay, on your own. You're looking at this like you may have to do it on your own. I do see that there's lots of communication getting ready to come in for you guys, but I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be feeling like, you know, I, I got this. Things are going to turn around in my favor and work out for me. Here we go. Three of Cups, okay? So you got the Three of Cups twice. You got the Death card twice, okay? So most definitely celebrating that things are now turning into your favor. If you guys are going through any type of financial obstacle right now or just feeling like, you know, you're going through some challenges, things are getting ready to shift Okay, so get prepared. Start putting your ducks in a row because things are getting ready to shift. Things are getting ready to shift, okay? And you have the same energy in your previous cards, okay? We had the obstacles and challenges. We had the waiting game. And we also had the celebration card, okay? Rejoice and celebration. So most definitely, we got the, eight, the nine of pentacles energy here as well, okay? And this is being single or focused on yourself, okay? So things are getting ready to shift for you guys. You guys are going to be celebrating um, some type of financial gain or some type of uh, sense of security is getting ready to come in. So prepare yourself, all right? Prepare yourself because it's on the way. Let's see what messages the angels have for you. You guys are getting ready. Prepare. Prepare yourself because uh, a, a situation that may not seem so good right now is getting ready to shift. Okay, so get prepared. Get ready. 
All right, give me one more card for Libras. Give me one more card for Libras. Give me one more card. Give me one more card for Libras. the bottom of the deck guys <clears throat> we have forgiveness heals time to release repressed anger as it is blocking your health and your happiness okay and the crystal that you can use to assist you with that would be topaz okay t-o-p-a-z it's time to release things forgive yourself forgive anything or anybody around you for any mistakes, past mistakes, okay? It's time to leave that in 2019. It's time to release repressed anger as it is blocking your health and your happiness, okay? We have a few more, okay? We, so we have, um, we have Moonstone, okay? Heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So this is trusting your intuition. You got to trust your intuition, okay? We have Yellow Jasper, okay? Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. And I saw that in you guys' challenge, okay? Maybe you feel like someone is trying to control you, okay? Maybe you feel like, you want to do things on your own or you want to do something to help you with your independence and you may feel like someone is holding you back trying to control you okay that could be why the emperor was there as well and then we have titanium rainbow quartz multifaceted there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about so there's multiple layers okay to the situation or the person that you are asking about, okay? All right, Libras, this was a very cut and dry reading, okay? It got straight to the point. I feel like a lot of you guys could be dealing with control issues or some. you feel like someone is kind of trying to control you or you feel bound to a situation. You feel like maybe you're blocked in um, and you don't have control over a situation. It's time for you to kind of let go of Feelings of control, repressed anger, anything that it's, those things are holding you back. Okay, Libras? I hope these messages were helpful for you. And don't forget to share with your family and your friends. Until next time, Libras. Ciao for now.